Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, West Coast Wild Tank. Uh, right now I am in Thailand, more exactly in Bangkok. And yeah, it is a lot warmer here than in Nepal. Um, yeah, so right now I'm on my way to try and find the royal palace. Um, so let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into this time. But before I came to Bangkok, I went from Kathmandu with a flight. It was a direct flight, uh, three hours, I believe. And yeah, I went from minus degrees to plus 30 degrees, which was, um, yeah, nice. Uh, the first thing I saw, basically, because it was uh, right outside my hostel, uh, it was the Loha Prasat. Uh, it is a temple with uh, a metal roof and it has 37 spires signifying the 37 enlightenment virtues of Buddhism. And yes, I might have way too much too much footage of this one temple, but it was you know, it was the first uh, Thai temple that I ever seen in my entire life and I thought it was absolutely stunning and beautiful and amazing and also I was kind of the only person there uh, there was not really anybody else walking around I don't know if it was of ours or anything but yeah, I had a great time I basically had the whole temple to myself uh, it was very relaxing and yeah just absolutely mind-blowing um, there are so many details on these temples it's absolutely crazy you have so much to look at um, I think I spent at least two hours at this temple you can also um, walk up some stairs and uh, have a good look over the city if you choose to go up and it was actually somebody else who told me this. I missed the stairs. Um, so that is amazing. I definitely recommend you doing that. The entrance fee to this temple is 20 baht. So it is literally nothing. So this is a temple I passed on the way to the Grand Palace. I don't know what it's called, but it looked very nice. And this is the Grand Palace from outside. So apparently you're not allowed to have a vest and your scarf over your shoulders. You do have to have a t-shirt or something so I had to buy this ugly t-shirt they uh, are however allowed to make a a skirt out of your scarf so I guess now I am more than willing to cover up in a religious place because um, that's just something you should do but why do you have to sell the most ugly t-shirts? Oh my god, I'm still stuck with this ugly t-shirt to this day. Actually, it is a quite good pajamas, um, I have to admit. But I feel like I, yeah, in India, in Sri Lanka, everywhere, I have been able to just wear a vest and then have a scarf over. But mm, yeah, I mean... I think, yeah, I, it's a good income because I think a lot of tourists think the same way as I did and then it turns out that you have to buy a t-shirt. Uh, but okay, that's beside the point now. Um, the Grand Palace is indeed very grand. It is so bedazzled uh, from the inside to the outside. Everything is glimmering and glittering and shining. Um, 
it is just so much to see. I think I spent almost half a day here just running around looking at all the shiny beautiful things um, and yeah it was amazing lots of people here though so if you want to beat the crowds I don't know maybe get here more early I do like to sleep so I usually don't go up until like 10 or something and then it's definitely crowded so that's just something to think about and yeah skirts down below the knees otherwise you have to wear elephant pants like everybody else uh, that you have to buy and also you cannot um, use a scarf or anything to cover your shoulders so you need a t-shirt or some piece of clothing that just covers your shoulders covers your knees and uh, your midriff you are not supposed to show much of any skin in here again I might have a little bit um, much footage of this palace but there were so many palaces within the palace I feel like it was a huge area with a lot of different buildings lots of different um, palaces kind of huge murals that I'm not sure if everything that looked like gold was gold but I would not be surprised if it was and just the love to detail was absolutely mind-blowing and you can definitely spend many many hours here just walking around and be amazed at all the different things to look at. The entrance fee to the Grand Palace is 500 baht, if I remember correctly, which is about 15 euros or 15 US dollars. And I mean, just look at all these details. Wow, it is crazy. Still looking this footage back, it's it still amazes me. It looks so good. So the royal palace in Bangkok was established in 1782 and consists not only of uh, royal throne halls, but they also have some uh, government offices and. Um, before it was that, it was actually the residence for King Rama the First and to King Rama the Fifth, I believe. And yeah, today it's used mostly to hoist uh, royal uh, ceremonies and welcoming guests of the king, and uh, yeah, and state guests and stuff like that. And. Um, yeah, what can I say? Everything that looks like gold on this temple is in fact gold. I did take my sweet time walking around here, but also it was really, really hot and being used to, you know, I was in Nepal before and it was not really warm there. We had minus degrees um, a lot of the nights and suddenly going from that to 30 plus degrees it was um, quite a strain actually and I did get a bit sick um, I did have a cold um, walking around here and yeah but I guess I do like the warmth a lot actually so and I will say no after having been in warmer climates for a few weeks again it is definitely what I prefer After running around uh, many hours in the Grand Palace, I went on a little boat cruise uh, on the canal. It is, it takes you, uh, it passes Wat Arun. Uh, I actually ended up not going there because I was um, 
I just felt a bit done after the Grand Palace. Uh, actually, this boat tour was a lot better than I thought it would. It was uh, very interesting to see all the houses uh, lining the uh, lining the river, and it was absolutely beautiful. This is definitely some of the biggest nopes I have encountered so far. Eight days is definitely not enough for Thailand and I do intend to come back here after I've been to uh, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia and after that I want to go to the south of Thailand because now I have been traveling the north. Honestly, the canal tour was great. It took you past some um, temples and some cafes that I'm not sure how you actually get to, I guess, from the land somewhere. And it was amazing. And you always also pass a, a place where there's a lot of fish. I guess they are for the fish market. And uh, if you want, you can bring some food so you can actually feed them. Usually I do wear a helmet, sorry mom. Um, so this is on the way to a market where they sold a lot of different funny things and a lot of uh, funny food. Little market hall, we have pommes, we have squid, and we have some sweets. Nom, 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 nom. So it was quite interesting to get here. Um, I used Grab, the app, and I wanted to take a uh, yeah a moped or a motorcycle and. We went to two floating markets that were closed before we found this one. Um, so yeah, it took a while to get here, but it was, it was nice and I'm gonna enjoy my food and then let's see how I get back again. <laughs> Hopefully it's a bit more smooth than finding this place. I then the next day took a sleeper train to Chiang Mai. Um, it was an experience, I think it was like 13 hours maybe that it took and yeah, at first when you sit down you just have your regular seats and then uh, as it gets darker they kind of get down these beds kind of and I will say I am not really a big person in any center of the world except I'm tall and yeah the bed is very narrow and I was actually a bit scared that I would roll down um, but I didn't uh, I did also lock my backpacks in place because I did not want anybody to take them 
of the train while I was sleeping because this has happened to fellow travelers and I did not want that to happen to me. And if they actually had turned the lights off during the night, maybe it would have been a bit easier to sleep. In Chiang Mai I met up with a friend who I had met in Bangkok before and we went to a market, a food market, and found some good stuff. Like, mm, lunch. The lunch. And like some China, maggots or whatever. And noodles! Ooh, did some shopping! Flippy floppies! So like three people asked me already if the traffic in Bangkok was hectic uh, compared to India. No, absolutely not. Um, I would say after India, everything Regarding traffic is fine actually. Uh, this is nothing. So yeah. First impressions of Thailand, they have working traffic lights. They actually follow them. And it's just easy to get around. Yay! I also went to a elephant sanctuary, Ban Chang. Elephant sanctuary. Uh, actually I had a friend recommend this to me. Uh, she had been here before. And she thought it was nice. Uh, so firstly, you were allowed to feed the elephants, more exactly the mom elephants with their small babies. And no, they are not inside these um, cages, what do you call them, uh, all the time. They are let out uh, as well during the day. <clears throat> and yeah, it was nice to feed them and socialize a bit with them. And you were also taught like, how to hold um, the food so they can get it easily and yeah, it was very nice. I learned that apparently they don't really have a good sense of taste in the mouth. They mostly smell everything through the trunk. Um, so we made some nutrition balls for them. Uh, this is stuff that they usually find when they are roaming the more like the wild. Uh, but they need this extra stuff uh, living as they are. And because there's some stuff inside that is not so tasty, you feed it directly into the mouth. And then I finally got to fulfill my wish to scrub an elephant and give them a bath. And it was amazing and also had a little uh, water fight with two of the younger elephants later. It was hilarious and actually the water was quite cold, so... <laughs> ah. Later in the evening I went to the night market in Chiang Mai again together with Marie and we got some delicious food. This is some kind of pancake with seafood. Uh, not entirely sure, it was delicious. And then we also did some shopping. I got these pants and I got a wallet that a cute little grandpa was sewing per hand. And I got this little um, anklet with elephants on them and then I was too lazy to walk back and to get to look back to uh, the hostel. The next day I took the bus to Chiang Rai and a guy fell asleep on me and he was asleep for a quite long time and then I went to the white temple which is completely out of this world it is absolutely insane 
Uh, the entrance for foreigners is, I believe, 100 baht. Uh, for Thai people, it's free. And yeah, sadly, they closed for some reason uh, two hours earlier than usually. So I could actually not go in. I just saw it from the outside. And uh, while I was fuming and a bit um, angry at this, I will say... I think it is actually from the outside that it is the most impressive. Uh, people that I know that went inside said, yeah, it's it's nice, but it's very, very small inside. So I guess I maybe didn't, um, didn't miss out on that much. I'm still a bit sad though, but yes, well, what you gonna do? Uh, it looked absolutely amazing. Again, so much detail. Um, I think I spent at least an hour just walking uh, outside and looking at all this stuff it was amazing and also it was quite close to sunset and yeah what can I say everything just looks even better at sunset there is also a blue temple in Chiang Rai but it is um, quite a distance from the white temple and I did not have time to visit it sadly There was a golden temple, like behind the white temple, mm, don't really know, it was very nice, it was absolutely beautiful. And then the next day I took the slow boat to Laos, uh, which takes two days, uh, and you are on the boat, I thought you would sleep on the boat, but you don't, you are like seven hours a day. On the boat and then you stop for the night um, and you sleep uh, but more of this in the next video so I forgot to film an outro for this but yeah I hope you enjoyed I hope you liked this video uh, stay tuned for the next one it will be of Laos um, subscribe if you want to it helps out the channel a lot and yeah see you guys bye